All right. When you're putting together these uh, television transmitters, and you have to add, or actually you have to inject the sound into the base of the video transmitter, they don't really tell you what the proper transformer is in the schematic. It just says IF, and it says maybe 5.5 megahertz. But what they're talking about is this right here. It's called an IF can, which I think means uh, intermediate frequency. And what this is, is a resonant circuit in here. There's an inductor coil, and the very bottom, you can see right there, that little, in the middle there, that's a capacitor. So it's a tuned circuit. And what it is, you need one that's going to resonate at 4.5 megahertz. And they don't tell you how to find one or anything like that. But what you want to look for is one of these cans, all right? And you want to look in here in the hole. The head of the screw, you want to have a green one. And the green one is usually either a 5.5 megahertz or a 10.7. Now what I did is I pulled this, see these tabs? You just bend them outward a little bit and you slide the, in, the middle out of the metal can. And you're going to see there's a primary winding that's in there. And what I did with mine is I just pulled off whatever primary winding was there and, and I used 40 gauge enamel wire which is very small and I wound about 20 turns around the core and I also clipped off the capacitor in here because I didn't want to leave it in I wanted to put an external one rather than have it on there so what you're gonna do to make this is you're gonna open the can up and you're gonna see on the side with the capacitor. You can see the capacitor ties into one side of the coil. That's the primary. You want to remove the capacitor, get rid of it, and you want to cut out the winding that's on the primary side. Pull all the turns off, and then you want to wind in the same direction that you removed it. Make sure it's wound the same way. You want to wind 20 turns of 40 gauge wire and solder it back onto this post and that post. The middle one is not used, usually. So you're going to wind it back on 20 turns, you're going to remove the capacitor, and you're good to go. Then what you're going to do is, the, the, side, the primary side, which is the 20 turns, that's going to go to the positive rail and into the collector of the transistor, and this is your output to the audio. One goes to ground and one goes to the capacitor. So that's how you're going to fix your audio. If you don't have one of these, you're not going to get it to work. So find one of these out of an old TV or an old radio and look for a green one. And But you're also going to have to open it up. This is roughly, uh, looks like maybe 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters square. So look for about a 10 millimeter square one just like this. And you're going to look for a green on top. And modify it the way I told you. And then you'll be good to go. The ideal way to verify that you're at 4.5 megahertz is using a DMM with a frequency counting function on it like my WaveTech 27 XT. You put the negative lead of the DMM to ground and then you touch the positive lead to the post that goes to the uh, 10 pico capacitor. That's what you want to touch and you can see the exact frequency that it is. Now when I pulled the capacitor out I was showing 10.7 so I knew I was good and then I added a hundred it goes across the primary and then boom I had my four and a half so that's how you have to do it okay this is the setup here's the antenna control box Digital camera.